What's up? Queen Mimi here. I like to say what's up, y'all. Well, yeah, today is Saturday, September 10th. Okay. So, yeah, I took out my braids. I had little braids. Yeah, and I took it out. And my hair ended up being kind of crimpy curly, so just kind of hanging out with that style for a little bit. And now I'm going to just hop what I'm going to do. Um, let me see. So today's video is just going to be basically a ca another type of catch-up video because I need to catch you guys up on some things. And, yeah, and there'll probably be another one tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be very interesting. I can not give you the details, but I will, you guys will find out tomorrow. Okay. So, today's going to be a catch-up video, basically, and what's going on, and, yeah, so, let's get it. Let's get into the video, bye. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it. <sighs> let's get it. Here, so, like, I feel that... Okay, so it's a good chat video, so yeah. Basically I just wanna catch you guys up on a few things. My life is still, you know, very hectic between church and school and home. But you know what? I'm moving through it by the grace of God. I don't let nothing stop me. Nobody defines me anymore. You know, I I in this video is not just gonna be a catch up. This is just gonna be a natural rant. Well, not really a rant. Let's see how I can phrase that. Uh, I'm going to express how I feel about certain things, too. Okay? Okay. And, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm doing two things at once. Um, so, I just want to tell you guys that basically my life is going in the same. I'm doing good in school right now. Uh, you know, just trying to take that leap of faith and trying to stay connect it to the power source such as God and I try to remember no matter what that he'll be there no matter what's going on in my life um I just feel that like there's a lot going on right now in my life so I feel like I'm trying to do what's best for me and everybody wants to tell me oh this that's not what's best for you have you walked in my shoes have you stepped into my, walked into my situations? No. And I'm saying this to everybody, okay? Until you, don't judge somebody because of what, how they talk, the way their hair looks. If I want to wear my hair stringy, crazy, and whatever, let me. Because guess what? It's not your body, okay? If I want to get my if I want to wear piercings or if Billy Bob wants to have piercings, let Billy Bob have piercings. My thing is that you don't let the littlest things hurt you. Like, you don't let those things defy you. You have to let the actions of that person define you. For me, a lot of people judge me because I, I'm easy to snap. A lot of people judge me because I like to go into detail about God. A lot of people judge me because I live with my grandparents. A lot of people judge me for different things, for being a mixed kid, for having a good quality of hair. I get judged for a lot of different things. If y'all heard the things that I get judged for on a daily basis, y'all would be like, oh, wow, yeah, I get judged. But you know what? I don't care. I'm starting to give two hoots of a cow about that. And... I am trying to build my brand and make my brand special because guess what? At the end of the day, they're going to reap what they sow. And I know I got something good coming for me by the grace of God. But let me just tell you this. There is no way in God's name that nobody deserves to get bullied, belittled until their snapping point. And my thing is that I go out, if I, if I go out my way, which I have numerous times, 
for people. If I go out my way to be nice to you and then you treat me like a piece of crap from under your shoe, that's when I really feel like, oh, maybe I need to stop trying. And I'm learning this that I need to stop being so compassionate. Okay? I am compassionate to the point where I will give you a, a non beyond thousands of chances. No matter how many times you've hurt me, no matter how many times you said stuff about my family, no matter, I, I just, you know, I'm done with being nice, that nice now. At this point, three chances, three strikes, you're out of my life. Permanent, zip, that, that, permanent, okay? No questions, no ands, no buts about it, okay? Because, like, it's no, it's not, I'm not going to stress myself out. Worry about, oh, okay, is she okay? Oh, look, she's posting this now. Let me go just do this, okay? Let me go have a private conversation. I'm not worried about what you posting anymore. Because guess what? I don't care. Like, if that if you want to waste your lives, you guys, on stupid petty stuff, go ahead. But I have things I got to do. I got goals I want to get. I got things, aspirations I want to meet in my life. Okay? Accomplish things I want to accomplish. Goals I want to meet. And a lot of people say that this isn't a good reason for me to want to graduate high school. This is my reason. My reason. My, me, myself, and I's reason why I want to graduate high school. Yeah. I want to graduate high school for two reasons. A, because I just want because I just want to do it. B, because my I want to do it and... For my grandfather and prove to my grandfather that anything is possible no matter what you're going through. Because my grandpa only made it to the 11th grade. So I'm going to prove to him I can make it past 11th grade. Okay? And I'm going to graduate before him. Okay? I promised him not. I'm graduate. Okay? And another reason is just because I want to go to college. B, I, I mean, C, I want to go to college. Um, and things I want to do after high school, I would love to get into, um, Kaiser SCU, which is South Carolina University, um, some school in Indiana, and I haven't, there's a lot of schools in Indiana, but, um, FSU are, they, well, not really Daytona State, but if that's, if that's where I have to go, wherever my life is at that point, if I have to go to Daytona State, I'll go to Daytona State, but. No, not really. Excited about that one. But I would love to go to nursing school and minor in um, teaching. And I would like to take my nursing degree all the way up to nurse practitioner. If RN is as much as I can afford of school, I'll be okay. But with nurse practitioner, you basically can do as much as a doctor. But you're still under the nurse category. So, therefore, um, I want to do that, and I want to, um, you know, I love helping people, so I feel like that's my thing, and I still would love, I'm still going to be very active in my church. Um, I love my church, like, there's nothing I wouldn't do for my church. Uh, um, and my family, you know, that'll still be a top priority, but, you know, I'm trying to build my brand by now, and I'm trying to empower some young ladies, some young men out there that don't let what people say affect you. Don't let, you can do anything. If it's just making a video in your house of you talking about some random something and you posting it online, you can touch somebody. Like, I'm hoping this video today will touch somebody. I hope any of my videos will inspire you. If your dream is to make YouTube videos, make YouTube videos. I've been wanting to do it for years. But you see, I'm getting older. And I finally built up the courage. The courage to, like, record, you know, empower somebody. Because my thing is, you know, people fall. People are at their breaking points. And they feel like, oh, there's nobody there. But there is always somebody there. This person's phone number is open all the time. All you have to do is get on your knees and pray. The phone number is pray. Y'all don't know how to speak.
Yeah. And you can talk to my friend, your friend, everybody's friend, Jesus. And this is more so of an empowerment video than a catch up, but whatever. Uh, my thing is that, you know, you guys like, are going to hear me say that. My thing is, oh, this is for me, blah, 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 whatever. If y'all, if y'all, all y'all hear is womp, womp, womp out of me, I don't care. Yeah? You know why? Because there are things that people are going to say all your life, all your life that they're going to try to make you to seem out that you are somebody, but you're not. They're going to make you seem like you're the big bad person, but you're actually not. They're going to make you seem like, oh, this, that, and the third. No, baby. If Even if you have to make sticky notes and put them on your mirror, like I do, I take sticky notes and I put them on my mirror. With the empowerment scenes that cost the um, internet. Like, I am beautiful. For instance, that's one I have up there. Um... I am a child of God. I am smart. I am intelligent. Intelligent in Spanish. Ha <laughs> ha. Um. Then I took a quote out of the help. The movie and the book. I is beautiful. I is smart. I is kind. By Eveline. From the help. I love that. And it's on my mirror, and I look at it every morning. I'm getting ready for school, church. Uh, if I'm just putting, getting dressed, because we have company coming over. Whatever. Whatever will be, will be. At this point in day, you know, I'm trying to keep my head above water because, you know, I got a lot of things to live for. I got baby cousins to live for, like, to help them so they can grow up and be smart young men and young women. I have, um, I have a lot of things to live for. I have my grandparents to live for. I have my cousins. I have my my brothers. That includes my biological and my god siblings. I'm just going to say god siblings plus biological siblings. And then I have my own self to live for. <laughs> Above everything, I have my own self to live for. And I have a lot of things to live for. But you know what? I am so happy to be the way I am. I'm glad God created me the way I am. I am wise beyond my years. And I mean, I'm starting to learn thoughts. You guys don't understand an old soul when you see it. I've been getting that a lot lately. That I'm an old soul. And I finally figured out what they mean when they are calling me an old soul. Because I was raised by my grandparents, I'm a little bit wiser than most 15, 16 year olds. Sorry if that hurts anybody's feelings. But y'all think, oh, because I want to snap at you, oh, I'm immature. But I'm not snapping at you just because, you know, I want to get my work done. I'm snapping at you because I can't concentrate. But it's not only that, it's just because, you know, I was raised, I'm raised, I was raised totally different than y'all were raised. I mean, it's totally different ways to raise kids, but the way I was raised was that if somebody is working or something, you, you, you need to zip, zap, zip your lips, throw away the key, okay? If they read it, you don't bother. If they busy, don't bother. And my thing is, though, that you don't need to, you guys let, we we let too many things bother us. And I'm proud to say that I am proud to say that I was raised by, uh, by the most amazing people in the world, I think. I think they are. My girlfriends are the most amazing. They have spoiled me rotten. And now I have the chance to spoil them. So, yeah. What do I mean by that? I'm spoiling. We're spoiling them tomorrow. 
Tomorrow is their anniversary. We're spoiling them. It's gonna be so much fun. I'll re I may record it. I don't know. Sorry, my eye is itching. But, like, I love being able, I love being able to live with my grandparents. Um, there are the ups and downs with every person that you live with. It, whether you live with your mom, your aunt, your god, your parents, whoever you live with, there's always going to be a challenge. Do you know why? Because everybody is unique. But I have my ups and downs with my grandparents, but at the end of the day, do you know what? I love them, they love me, and they spoil me, I spoil them. That's how my life works. Oh, and I'm also proud to say I'm a grandpa, I'm a granddaddy's girl. I'm a grandma, I'm a grandma and granddaddy's girl. I'm their pride and joy next to their kids. I'm above and beyond. I'm the queen. I'm their little queen. Their little princess. And a lot of people say, oh, there's no such thing as a grandpa's girl. If there's something, okay, look at this this way. Okay, you know how there's a daddy's girl and a mommy's girl? I'm a, I'm a girl. I'm a grandpa's girl. I'm also a mama's girl, which I'm my grandma's girl. And I'm also my god mommy's girl. So, I have, there's a lot of me, and I love all my people. But you know what? If it wasn't for my grandparents and my god mom, I, there's no telling what would be of me right now. Um... I am also really grateful for the opportunities I've had that I probably wouldn't have had. Like, I get to go, um, in the summertime, I go to, like, this conference. There's this conference for my church in Orlando, I think. Somewhere. Somewhere over on, off the of I-4. <laughs> that's all I could get! <laughs> I'm so bad. That was, like, months ago. Back in June or July. Okay. Anyhow, it's like this ball type of thing, Debutant Masters Commission. And, yeah, it's really nice. And I feel honored that I've gotten to be a part of that since I was, like, eight. Um, then I also am a, attend Christian Education Leadership Congress, which is, we call it CEC or COIC. It's basically where you go through workshops, you go through different, like, things and stuff, and you learn stuff. And then it's really amazing and stuff. That's all I can really tell you. But, yeah, that's that. And, um, um, let me see, what else? I go to these different things not only to empower myself, but to make myself stronger. To make myself feel like, oh, I have something so I can learn stuff so that I can empower you guys and I can bring stuff to share with you guys I have learned like a lot of people say that there isn't a lot to learn at church conferences there actually is there are things to learn everywhere you never get too old to learn that is my thing you never get too old to learn and um my thing is the, that no matter what people say about you, no matter who is saying something about you today, guess what? One day, you're going to be their, their doctor, their lawyer, their child's teacher, their, ch their nurse, their this, their that. One day, they're going to need you. And guess what? When they, when you, they need you, you aren't going to want to help them. You know why? Because you're going to be like, oh, you remember that time that you treated me like cr crap? Uh, ooh. And then they start thinking about it. And then they remember it. And then they're going to totally feel like crap right in that moment. Because you reject helping them. And they're going to be like, oh, crap. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna feel like crap. Because you don't want to help them. They're going to feel like. Oh, maybe they don't... Yeah, then they're going to want to apologize. But you know what? The Christian thing to do is accept it and move on with your life. Sorry, I had to put my hair up. I was getting hot. Um, But no matter what people say, we need to just learn 
that people are going to talk, people are going to say stuff, but we have to stay connected to our power source. Our power source. Our power source. God. Read the Bible. Whatever your belief is in Jesus, I'm, I don't want to hear about it. So please don't comment about it. Comment. Don't comment anything negative. That's my thing. Please comment positive. Okay. Um, and let me hear from you guys what you think about getting bullied, getting picked on, getting teased, or whatever you call it. Let me hear what you think. Um, I'd also like to put a prayer notice out there for this is for um I am if y'all haven't realized I am a sand crap. I am a sand crap. I'm a Seabreeze High School they Daytona Beach, Florida student. Um, I'm proud to be a sand crab. Whatever y'all think about the sand crabs, I don't care. I'm proud to be a sand crab. Um, that's my thing. I'm proud to be it. Don't judge me for it. Okay? Okay. And I also like to say, um, I would like to put a prayer notice out there for, uh, Miss, Miss Lily. Um, and her son, Jordan Lily. I like to put a prayer notice out there for them. Because, yeah, I just like to put that out there. Please keep that family in first, the Lily family. And um, then I'd also like to put a prayer notice out there for my homeboy. My best, one of my best friends, Tyler Lewis. I like to put a prayer notice out there for him. Um... That so he gets better. And I also like to put another prayer notice out there for anybody else that's sick that I don't know of. Everybody, I hope you guys have a safe and blessed week and have a delicious weekend. Um, let me see what else. Um, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So. Go down in the comments and comment what you guys think about the video. Make sure it's a perfect game and make sure it's nice because if not, it will be da 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 deleted. Okay. And then also if you would like, comment something that you guys would like me to talk about in next week next weekend's upload. Okay? If I do it next week. If I upload next week, because I might be busy. I'm not sure. But comment in the comment section below. Comment in the comment section below. Um, Like. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the nice thing button that says subscribe. And turn on your notifications so that every time I upload, you get a notice on your phone. And if you don't like me, period, like, exclamation mark. Don't watch my videos, don't comment on my videos, and don't subscribe. Because as soon as I find out who you are that is commenting, I will block you. Okay? Have fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye. Bye.